What's up YouTube? Tops8541 and this is a video response for a baseball card 6251 and he's just wondering how uh, we organize our baseball card binder. So first of all, one of the key things that I do is I always put a Beckett over the uh, the top page to prevent the binder sheets from like rolling up like that when you close the binder and preventing the cards from getting ruined. So when you put a Beckett on top and you close it, it prevents the uh, the sheets from rolling up. And then for as far as like my player collections, uh, I mean, I my biggest PC is Bonds. So what I do is like I put all the parallel cards in one binder. I'm not going to go through every single one, but all the cards are different. But like you know, you know, you got the Bowman Tiffany, the regular, then the gold, and some of the different variations there, like regular chrome the gold so anyway like just different um different variations so i put all my parallels in one binder for the berry collection so kind of like that there kind of just real quick just show you guys a quick overview so i don't know i mean it's cool i think it's cool that uh that you're starting to, to do binders because i love doing binders myself so that's uh that's my bonds binder one, and then I just put you know just try to I don't I don't do it by year or anything I just kind of go by like what looks good when they're all together in a page I'm just skipping through real quick here I'm not going to show every single page but uh, yeah that's what I do on that and then like sometimes not every page is gonna give you nine cards so. Man, I don't let me go to my next one so what I do and oh, also by the way on like the vertical cards I try to keep them all together as well on my single player ones and then we're back to you know like parallels with the vertical cards but um like if there's a spot where you're missing a card or you don't have a full page I'll like get a uh, you know like an index card and cut it in half and just stick it in there so that way the page doesn't have like missing sp it looks cleaner that way um actually here let me show you guys on this binder over here i think i can show you what i'm talking about yeah like the first page this is like a seven card set and so i just put a blank index card on those to make it look better that way I'm not like shoving like seven cards of a set and then two random cards on the same page. So I'm pretty particular about how I do my binders. So that's my player binder for bonds or binders. And then I have like theme binders as well. So this is like the 3000 Hit Club binder. But these are only the guys in the 3000 Hit Club that don't have 500 home runs. And the reason why I do it that way is because all the 3500 hundred guys are in the 500 home run club binder so i try to get all the 3000 hit club guys jeter of course the newest guy clemente of course with the even 3000 hits in his career and then got some of the older school guys in the back so i'm only missing one guy in the 3000 hit club that i don't have any cards of and it is oh god what's his name Rogers Hornsby or something. I can't remember who it is, but I got Tris Speaker there. Uh, so anyway, so I'm missing one guy. I got to pick up some like contemporary because of course his all his cards are like old school. So there we go, all the 3,000 Hit Club guys. And then the next one, actually I'll go over here. So these are just cut some like what I call fan favorites binders. And a lot of t a lot of these guys have like won MVPs, so like Kevin Mitchell and Jeff Kent, you know, Canseco, a bunch of Consecos. We got Tejada and uh, Pudge. So you know, players like that. Non non pitchers too. These are all non pitchers, all position players. Albert Bell, Piazza. We got Mattingly. He actually he did win MVP, didn't he? Uh, Bagwell, Strawberry, Vladimir, Guerrero, so I got a lot of his cards, I guess, and then 
Uh, Garcia Para. Grace in your face. McGriff, which, man, I wish that guy was in the Hall of Fame. I think he belongs in the Hall of Fame. And Delgado is also another guy that dropped off the ballot. Larry Walker, the, the famous Canadian. We got Vizquel. Who knows? Maybe he'll be a Hall of Famer. So anyways, just I'm trying to do a quick overview because I have so many binders. We'll go Will the Thrill. Never won an MVP, but of course he's a fan favorite. Ellis Burks, Robbie Thompson, all those guys. So anyway, you kind of get the gist. And like if I can't get a full page of a player... I try to at least get a row, kind of how we got like a Roger Maris there, one row. Then I got like six Alfonso Soriano. So sometimes I'll put two players on a page. There we go again, like with Jorge Posada. And then we got Maglio Ordonez as a row. And then Jim Edmonds. So and then again, like Jay Buhner, uh, Bernie, Burn Baby Burn, and Cecil Fielder. So sometimes I'll put multiple players on uh, on a binder page if I don't have a full page on there of them. So I'll do that. There we go again with the... I Actually, I'm going to start a Dale Murphy PC. So these six, five blanks are to put Dale Murphy's in. So i got to pick some of his cards up. And there we go with that. There we go, Mo Vaughn. So anyway, that's kind of that one. And then this is like current players here. Current stars. Actually, this binder starts off with like Hall of Famers that aren't in the 3000 Hit Club or the 500 Home Run Club and non pitchers. So, like position player Hall of Famers without the 3000 hits and 500 homers. <laughs> I got all these freaking categories, man. It's kind of funny. There we go. So, we got Fisk, got all the catchers, Lou Gehrig. Almost made the 500 Home Run Club. He would have. Probably been in the 600 home run club if he didn't get sick. And then uh, Cepeda, Johnny Mize, Morgan. So anyways, that's kind of how I do that. There we go, Jackie. And then, um, and then of course, the modern day players. All the stars and stuff like that. So, Ichiro, hopefully he'll make it into my 3,000 hit, hit club binder. Probably not on 2015, but if he plays in 15 and 16, he should be able to make it. Braun, McCutcheon. So, man, there goes a Trout. So, there we go. Too low. Frickin' Pablo left and went to the Boston. Bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him. So, anyway, there we go with that. And then, um, over here... I got like the 500 home run club binders. So again, just a bunch of 500 home run club guys. Pujols, of course, the uh, most recent induction into the 500 home run club binder. So I had to make another binder when I put Pujols in there. Because this binder got too big. So I got a few 500 home run club binders. So there we go. Just kind of give you guys a quick idea. So anyway, I love collecting binders. Binders are fun, man. Base cards, inserts, anything that'll fit in a binder. Lots and a lots of a fun. So anyway, there we go. And then this is my 500 Home Run Club Summer of 98 binder, which I think I showed this on another video. So I got the McGuire, Sosa, and Griffey, since those are the guys that kind of put baseball back on the map. Lots of Maguires, man. I used to uh, Maguire used to be my main PC before I started collecting Barry, so got a lot of his cards, and then got a lot of Griffies, man. I remember when I was a kid, growing up, collecting cards. If you got a Griffey, that was a that was like getting a hit these days. If you got a Griffey in your pack, so lots of Griffey cards. So love that. And Sosa in the back. A lot of people don't collect Sosa, but man, he was dynamic in 1998. That guy was awesome. You should collect him, guys. Collect Sosa. I know he got he got a lot of shit for the steroids. He got shit on pretty good, but he was fucking awesome. So anyway, there goes uh, the summer of 98. Then I had to put some more 500 home run guys in a new binder. So got like mantle and these are mostly like the 60s guys you know mccovey mantle Mays, and then i put um aaron 
Then I got Ruth in here as well. So he wasn't a 60s guy, but had to put him somewhere. And then the last binder is like all the pictures. I put all the pictures in one binder. And I'm starting to run out of room. I'm probably going to have to start a new pictures binder because I'm starting to PC a lot more pictures since I created this particular binder. But all my favorite pictures go in here. Bob Gibson. So there we go. Clemens. Lavin. Maddox. We got Ryan. So all that cool stuff. Man. The newly inducted uh, Randy Johnson. I always want to call him Randall Johnson because he's got that damn mullet. He looks more like a Randall than a Randy for some reason with that mullet. So there we go. A lot of Hall of Famers in here and, uh, and newer players. So that's pretty much my binder PCs. So anyways, hopefully this uh, helps you put your binders together and... Thank you guys for watching. Happy collecting.